Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, Pastor Michael coming to you here uh, Monday night. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today marks the 60th Vespers uh, message reflection uh, that I'm bringing you tonight. If you had told me when I started this two months ago that I would have done 60 of them by now, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, I started this originally thinking, hey, we'll do this for a couple of weeks, we'll figure this out, and uh, life will get back to normal. Uh, and that has most decidedly not been the case. The Lord has continually surprised us throughout this process, the way that this has, this has unfolded. And I couldn't have imagined uh, what's happening now back then. Um, and I don't know how many of you feel the same way. Perhaps I was naive, uh, but then I'd like to think that there were many more people who were naive right along with me, uh, because this is just, we continue to work in unprecedented times and chart unprecedented territory uh, through this process as a church, as a nation, as individuals, uh, figuring out how to how to do all this. But nonetheless, um, 60 nights in a row, uh, I missed one, 59 uh, nights in a row, I suppose. Um, that I've been coming to you offering a little nightly reflection uh, through this, and it's been my joy and privilege to do that. And uh, I had decided some time ago that when I reached this milestone uh, that I would uh, speak on the words from Psalm 19. Now, it's a beautiful psalm. If you get the chance to read it, I, I would encourage you to sit down and read the entirety of Psalm 19. Um, but I, I always focus on just a verse or two during these. Um, uh, and that's verse 14. It's the last verse of Psalm 19, which says this, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Um, I've made it a goal uh, through these reflections, through these vespers, to never use the same passage of Scripture twice. And so far I haven't. Uh, every time I've come to you, it's been a different verse um, that I've used to reflect on it. I continue, I'll continue that tradition. There are, there are, I don't know, something like 66,000 or something like that verses in the Bible. So we could do this a long time <laughs> um, before we need to uh, try something else. But, uh, but verse 14, um, may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I suppose if, uh, if I thought about the reasons why I started doing this, those reasons would be many. Um, and one of them would be to provide you with um, the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart um, that the Lord has given to me uh, during, during all of this. And I consider it a privilege to uh, share them with you and that people would take the time to listen to them and, uh, and take them to heart. And so that's been a big part of why I've done this, to encourage us all, including myself, in, uh, in our faith as we journey this together, to provide hope and wisdom and comfort and meditation on the Lord's, on the, on the Lord's Word. And there's so much to be found and said and spoken there. Um, so I hope these words um, have been acceptable to him and acceptable to you, uh, but mostly acceptable to him who is our rock and our redeemer. And that's why I've done this. Um, that the Lord in all of this will continue to be our rock and our redeemer. And that's the hope and the encouragement uh, that these nightly vespers uh, are meant to provide. Um, that we do have a hope and a salvation, a rock and a redeemer, and his name is Jesus Christ. And his word is ever true. And so on this Monday night, this 60th vespers, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you.